what are you doing to bring us all back together? Sharing the content on your social media in the way that it injures people, or are you reaching forward to help bring peace and solitude to anyone and everyone who is going through the changes daily? Things they can't control. We've got to come together as creative minds. We've got to be able to build tomorrow, and it has to start today as creative people, all creative people. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I actually have an interview coming up in the next couple of days with an author who dedicated his life to the disconnection of social media. And he has found this path, this way to to share it with others in the way that we all need to step free of the content and the way that our mind, body and souls are being poisoned by this thing called the Internet, social media, your smartphone. And I, I've sat back for several hours and, I, and I've thought about that. What would life be like today if I had not gone the way of just putting a phone in my pocket? What would your life be like? I mean, morning comes way too quickly as it is. Or is it that no day passes that we aren't anxious to get started, to start digging into that content again on that social media page? The physical willingness to be a listener over a talker is a lifestyle change for anyone willing to walk beyond their ego. Now, the hardest part about being a listener first is knowing who you want to hear. It's, it's like podcasting. You have this huge untamed platform where there are no real rules. Now do the episodes, not just 10, but 10,000 different episodes. Use the strength of streaming to reach toward any or all willing to listen. In doing so, this is where I challenge you to become a listener, not not to podcasts, but a listener of the world to hear the chefs, the bankers, the teachers, the people of homelessness to physically be in their space, allowing their word to become the moment. You talk about a lot of weight for what another person is holding always has the full capability of creating craters the size of the universe being that listener and not the talker. What's going to happen is you're going to have to find somebody who listens to you because you take all of that in and if you hoard it, you implode. And I think sometimes that's where we are in this everyday world because of the content on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram that we and, and TikTok, we, we bring all of that in because we have this this connection, this addiction to social media that it's like, I, I, I got to have it. I, I, I got to have it. It's like CNN, Fox News, things like that. I've always got to have the headlines. I have to know what's going on in the world. And why? Why do I have to know? Hey, it's Arrow. This is the Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. It's not that I document history. I'm not a journalist. I'm not a historian. I just love to feel the moment of now. It's a great place to hang your hat, listening to what is going on around you. There's a lot to learn. This is The Daily Mess. Um, what moves faster, the voices in your head or a SpaceX rocket designed by Elon Musk? What moves faster? Which would you trust more, the voices in your head or that SpaceX rocket designed by Elon Musk? The billionaire's Tesla program with its driverless vehicles still keep crashing. Now, which one do you trust? Will there ever be a generation that's fully dependent on computers deciding for us? I mean, you've seen the most recent pictures of people trying to escape from Afghanistan. Those horrifying photos of people clinging on to those jets preparing to take off. What moves faster? Fear of survival or the unknowing truth of human reality? Billions of dollars are spent on trying to perfect the robot while millions of lives suffer because of other people's decisions. If the human could live on the moon or on Mars, would the SpaceX rocket look like that military airplane leaving Afghanistan with all those people trying to hold on? Those doing all they can to locate a better life in a world that doesn't fear the consequences of being injured by other people's life and dreams. What moves faster, the voices in your head or a SpaceX rocket designed by Elon Musk? 
do you invest any time in either? Is this really a choice that you need to make at a time when everything around you is changing so quickly? How do you prepare for your morning? Do you just get up, grab your coffee, maybe some water, pop a couple of pills, take your heart meds, and just move about your day? Or do you sit back and you wonder, how can I make this day better, not only for myself, but anybody who comes in contact? Because somewhere along the line, you're going to have to be a listener first. Because if you're a talker first, then you've got to find somebody who's willing to listen. And if you can't find that person, then you implode. And then you wonder, why am I always in a bad mood? Why am I always struggling with everything around me when all I ever wanted to do was this? Listening first helps you understand the process and the building blocks of what is to become the new day. Go into a conversation willing to be the listener first. And, and, and don't start it off by going, how's your day? How's your morning? No, that, that kind of sets people off. That's like saying, you demand, you rock, or, or, oh, I appreciate you. I can't stand those terms. Start it off by just being present, and the conversation will be born. Listen before you talk. Be prepared for what's growing in your atmosphere of now. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.